Hi everyone, welcome back to the 3D Light tutorials. Uh, this is tutorial number two on uh, multiple render passes. So let's go into Maya and uh, we have a very basic scene. We will add feature later on with the tutorials. Here we just have a teapot, an nervous plane with a textured um, checker and an ambient light and a spotlight casting um, some basic depth map shadow, a bit filtered to make it soft. So we've seen in previous tutorials that we can just choose 3D Light as a um, regist registered renderer and uh, uh, click the render button and we will have our image. But uh, the most curious of you probably would have seen uh, on the render settings a uh, new button here called um, select render pass. This actually allows us to create a new render pass, which is the mechanism that 3D Light uses to set the rendering options. You can have multiple uh, render passes actually. So let's first start creating one. I normally like to do it through the menu, but you can also create, uh, create it by clicking this button here. And of course, by clicking the AE button, you will go into the AE of the um, render pass. So uh, let's see what it consists of. First of all, you can name the render pass. So you, we can name it as, I don't know, preview or fast test, for example. Okay? Uh, this means that automatically here it will change name and we can choose fast test. That means that every time we click this button here, we will use fast test. Otherwise, we can select the render pass here. Here we have a full uh, spectrum of uh, options. So, for example, we can choose which camera we want to render from. We can trigger the resolution from render globals, decide to render animation uh, and how, mu how much increment we want between frames. By the way, it works also with decimal, decimal frames. And uh, we can crop and uh, we can ch change the bucket order. So, for example, now it's rendering horizontal lines, but we can also make it spiral and start from the center. So, um, since this is a fast test, we will uh, um, tweak the quality to something like uh, very low pixel samples and very high shading rate. This will make a very uh, poor quality anti-aliasing and uh, uh, not much uh, shading uh, evaluation. Uh, we will, the rate of the shading will be um, lower, while if you go to um, one which is almost full quality, uh, you will uh, um, the rate of shading will be much higher and for example point one will be extremely much higher. Normally one is a perfect uh, setting. We can also put, tune off the um, filtering, since this is a preview. And as for now I think we are fine. We could also reduce the resolution, but since it's so fast there's no problem, we'll keep it 640 by 480 and uh, that's it. So now we can either click the render button here or click the button here or render here. In this case the image will be automatically prompted into the eye display view. Eye display is the um, production proof um, image um, display tool of a 3D light. Let me resize the current image, perfect. So you can see uh, it, it renders uh, very fast and very, very with very low quality. <clears throat> we can tune, go back into Maya and say, okay, let's duplicate this render pass. We duplicate fast test. Okay, now we have fast test one. We can call it back to final, for example. Okay, and in final we tune the parameters back. We want more resolution. Oh, uh, by the way, we, you can you have also res resolution multiplier. We just say, oops, sorry, hit the button. Um, let's put, I don't know, 800 by 600, higher resolution. And uh, we want, well, we don't need animation in this case. And uh, so we'll keep the spiral order, we like it. But we go to sync filter and higher anti-aliasing, uh, sorry, higher filter width and uh, uh, some. 
pixel samples and then the shading rate set back to 1. As I told you before, the image goes, was prompted to eye display instead of the Maya Remedy. We could have it sent back to Maya Remedy, but we prefer to use eye display. And uh, um, what I want to do also, we could add, uh, for example, motion blur if we set a key here for. Uh, or maybe it's already moving, yes, it's already moving. But we could also set a key here. Or actually, let me do the opposite. We'll set it here first, and then we'll set it. No, not frame 8, we'll go back here. And that's that means at frame 5 just rotate the bit set again so frame this frame we should have some uh, motion that means we can also um, set some motion blur here something like a transformation blur should be enough because we don't deform the geometry and we don't animate the camera Okay, so we have also motion blur and we call it final motion. And then we render this frame by clicking the button here. You will see the evaluation around the, the frame to calculate the motion blur. And now, there we go. We render with the uh, higher quality and motion blur. Normally, when doing motion blur, you should tune the quality to even higher sampling pixel samples rate. Let's re-render it. Again, we can do it in multiple ways. We'll do final motion. Oh, I did select it, sorry. So again, evaluation around the frame, and uh, um, there we go. You can see the underscore chewy here. It keeps, uh, um, I display keeps all the images in memory. So for example, in this case, we can see the improval of quality here in the motion blur, you see? If you hit the D button, you will have the absolute difference, although you can see something here on the sampling actually. Okay, so we're pretty much happy about this. And now uh, we create another render pass. So back sorry, into Maya and uh, we choose now to duplicate the final motion and we select final motion 1 and we call it final motion rib out this is because uh, we can choose to output here instead of a rendered image we can save a rib on disk we will call oops we will call this rib, uh, or we'll decide where to put it. In the render pass uh, uh, tutorial, it's okay, so we'll call it tutorial to rib. And uh, we don't want to have it binarized or compressed because it's very small. And uh, we just render this. By rendering this, we will save a rib on the drive. That means that if I go into my 3D Light tutorial folder, for tutorial number two, I will find my tutorial two rib. We can check the rib with a text editor, and uh, you will see now the rib. The rib contains all the information about geometry, shading, and um, options. We will go uh, through the rib uh, uh, in more advanced tutorials, but just want to show you the um, render settings parameters so let's search for samples and you can see now there you go this is actually for the um, shadow map and we can go and find the other one there you go so this is actually the parameters i was setting so shading rate one because sam pixel sample seven seven and there will be um, all the other parameters for example the format and everything so the rib looks totally fine and now we can uh, show the other feature of 3D Light. 3D Light is two renders in one. You have the plugin renderer for 3D Light for Maya, but you also have a standalone renderer within the package. That means that I can open my shell here. Let me go to a new tab. Oops, sorry. 
there you go and we can go on the desktop on the tree light tutorial and go into zero two and we can just render the light render the light is the sorry render today my typing skills are below standard and uh, uh, you can see these are the options of 3d light standalone and uh, uh, for example we can say uh, let's be when the rib is finished and uh, put the um, rib into the iDisplay for interactive frame buffer and uh, show me some progress and uh, also display and put me some stats there so we can do it so minus ID and we will have uh, the image output on uh, um, I display and then minus progress will give us some information and minus beep it should beep and uh, minus uh, stats 3 it will, it will give us statistics and uh, uh, we can also create a stat file with uh, minus stats file here minus stats file I will call it stats.html because it supports HTML statistics output and uh, um, I think we are fine we can just put the name of the scene we just created which was uh, uh, tutorial to dot rib so this is the command we are launching now you see the percentage And I think since we are on Leopard, we are actually rendering on this buffer here. There you go. And uh, this was actually the shadow map view. Okay, the image is done. 97, 100%. And now we open the folder. And you can see that we have a stats HTML file. Double click on it. And ta-da, HTML statistic with graphs that show us the full rendering process. And this is extremely good for uh, pipelines. Okay, so you've seen that 3D Light is uh, two renders in one, a standalone renderer and a plugin renderer into Maya and soon for uh, XSI 2. And you've had an introduction on eye display and uh, a little example of rendering a rib by command line with some options and uh, we'll see much more features uh, uh, later on so thanks a lot for listening and goodbye